Hi, my name is Tony. I, I am the Children and Families Worker at Wellsbourne Church and welcome to our new video for today about the Christian faith. This topic is going to be about prayer. Of course, prayer is one of the most important activities in every single religion. Now, you may think that you have to be religious to pray, but actually most people, pretty much everybody, will pray at some stage in their life. So it's something that affects all of us, really. Prayer is about drawing near to God. This passage in the New Testament, in the book of James, says, Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Prayer is a time for quiet reflection, for us to spend time speaking with God. But what are the different types of prayer? In Christianity, we often think of the TSP, this stands for thank you, sorry, and please. And these are the main parts of how we pray. We say thank you and we worship God for who he is. We praise God. That's part of thanking him. And we might say prayers to say sorry for something. Or we might say prayers to ask something either for ourselves or for somebody else. The most famous prayer, of course, is the Lord's Prayer. And this is a good little graphic here that shows you about what the Lord's Prayer is. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. So that's praise and thanking him. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Now this little word Amen, at the end it means let it be or let it happen. So let's just have a bit of a think about what Jesus is asking us to do when he says to pray the Lord's Prayer. And he doesn't mean we can only pray that prayer. What he's doing is giving us a, an example for how we pray in general. So the first bit, as I said, is about praising God. And then he goes on to say, let your kingdom come. This is saying what will happen at the end of time. We will ask for God's kingdom to come back and for heaven to come. Give us our daily bread. It doesn't just mean bread. It means give us all the things we need. Food, drink, shelter, clothes and things like that. Forgive our sins. So it sounds sorry for the bad things we've done. But it's also forgiving anybody who's done anything to hurt our feelings or to hurt us in any way as well. Lead us not into temptation. So it's saying, don't let us end up sinning, but protect us from something that might happen. Help us not to commit sins and deliver us from evil. And it ends again, praising God it says for the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever what else do you think that the bible says about prayer if you were to have a think about that question what is it the bible actually tells us about prayer i'm going to start with a letter written by the apostle paul pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests with this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. So what that's saying is there's lots of different ways to pray and we should use as many of them we can to bring different kinds of requests and different kinds of prayers to God. Sometimes we pray for ourselves, sometimes we pray for others. And it says when you pray to go in your room and close your door and pray privately, and God will hear you and he will reward that prayer. What that means is that prayer is between you and God. There's no prize. We don't have to show off to other people to show that we're praying. That's a personal conversation between you and God. And of course, at the moment with the coronavirus, we're all having to shut away, uh, shut ourselves away at home. But it doesn't matter whether we have to isolate whether we have to stay home god is with us anywhere and we can pray at any time jesus says in the gospel of luke be persistent in your prayer so that basically means keep going keep saying it if you don't get the answer immediately 
then maybe that's because God knows you will learn something by keep asking. And so he says, be persistent, keep on asking. Do you think all prayers are answered? Well, probably not. If you prayed for something horrible to happen to somebody, for example, then obviously God's not going to say yes to that. But God does answer all prayers. Sometimes he says yes. Sometimes he says no. And sometimes he says to wait a while. But God hears every single prayer. So when can you pray? You can pray at any time of course but here are some other examples when you're saying grace which is where you say thank you to god for your dinner before you eat it at church you might pray with other people you might have a particular time of the day that you set aside so you say i'm always going to pray at 10 o'clock or something like that you might pray first thing in the morning when you wake up you pray for the day that you're going to have or you might pray when you go to bed just before you sleep or you might do more than one of those things on it any given day you see, prayer is a little bit like a telephone. It's our line to God. We can pick it up at any time and have a chat with God. So some questions for you to think about with your parents or whoever is with you at the moment. Have a bit of a chat about these questions. So who was it who taught us the Lord's Prayer? When can we pray? And who prays? These are all questions I answered in the video, so have a think back, you can watch it back again if you need to, see if you can find the answer to those questions. And a task for you. Can you have a go at writing a prayer? Can you have a go at getting in the TSP? Do you remember what that stands for? That stands for thank you, sorry and please. So why don't you see if you can have a go at writing a prayer today with thank you, sorry and please. And maybe you could pray for some people around you. Um, during this difficult time with the coronavirus and just pray for God's protection over them to keep them safe in this time.